In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Fortnite letters on your computer, or if you don't really need to have them installed, you just want to generate some sort of text, I can show you where to get it as well. So let's get on with this. The Fortnite font itself, it's called Burbank Big Condensed. In the description, I left you the link for this website where you can download the font for free. So when you're on this website, you have Burbank Big Condensed Bold, just do the captchas, you always have to. Once you do, just click download and this OTF file will be downloaded. I'm just gonna click on it, click to open it and this window will appear. So this is showing you the example of how the font looks like. The only thing that you need to do is hit install. I already have it installed, so it's asking me to replace it. So I'm gonna hit no, but you won't get this dialog box if you don't have it installed. So the font will be installed everywhere on your computer. So you can use it with Word, Photoshop, any other editing software that access to the fonts on the computer. So if you had it opened before you installed the font, you need to close the program and reopen it again. So once you reopen the program, then it will be available for, for you to use it. So this is an Arial, Arial, I have no idea how to say that. So I'm gonna select it all. And now I can just select the Burbank, Burbank Pink Condensed. It's so hard to say that. And now you can see that any letter, any words that I have now look like the Fortnite logo. Fortnite, you see? And I can also do it on Photoshop, as I've showed you earlier. This has a bunch of effects on. I can turn these effects off and it will look more similar to what a Fortnite logo will be. So if you're not planning on using it on any editing software, or word processor, you can go to this website. It's called fortnitefontgenerator.com. Here you can just type in the words that you want to generate. So this is text, for example. Um, you can change the size. You can have them, this is the biggest as they go. I'm gonna make them red because I want to show you something. And um, once you have the color, the size, and the text, it will be saved as a transparent image on your computer. So just click Create PNG. And after that, it will take you to the font itself. Just right click, Save Image, or whatever option you have, and that will be it. Now you have an image with a transparent background and the letters themselves. But if I open it, you will see that the image is not very crisp. The edges have some sort of, you know, white thing to it. So this is the reason why I prefer having it installed on my computer because whenever I save this thing, the edges of the images are not very crisp. So hope this helped you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so I can get that plaque and have a wonderful rest of the day, my friends. Stay safe out there.